They're in a battle with the universe to stay alive. And the cost of that battle is energy. Okay? The cost of that battle is energy. It takes a lot of energy to organize what cells do. How many people know what entropy is? What's entropy? What's that? Tendency to disorder. Okay, exactly what it is. You're not very disordered. Okay, and there are people that say, oh, well, then entropy can't make any sense. Okay, can't make any sense because I'm very organized. My DNA's in here, got my proteins in here. A living system is much more organized than a non living system. Right? Well, I'd like to make the argument. I don't need to make the argument, but I'll make the argument just to make you aware of it. That entropy is a tendency. Okay? It's a tendency. If I take and I've got a deck of cards, and I take that deck of cards and I throw it out on the floor, what do I have? I have disorder. Correct? If I go and I pick up those cards and I arrange them so that I have the two, the three, the four, the five, the six, the seven, the eight, the nine, the ten, etc., for each suit perfectly organized, I've organized them correctly, correct? Antipi didn't say it was impossible to do. It said it was going to take energy to do that. I had to put energy in to organize that deck of cards. I have to put energy in to maintain the order of my cells in a universe that tends to disorder. That's one of the reasons I have to have energy. There are others. But the cost of living in the universe is energy. If I don't put that energy in, I am not going to be what anybody would consider alive. Sometimes on like a weekend morning where I'm laying in bed, I feel like I'm in that state where maybe I'm not alive because A, I have no energy. B, that bed feels very good. And C, hopefully I'm not hung over. That kind of kills energy too, you know? Okay. So energy is an important consideration. We're going to see that cells do everything that they do to get energy because if they don't, they're dead. And energy guides whether reactions occur or not. Okay? For example, if I take and I break things down, okay, it's much easier to break something down than it is to build it up. You see the new Linus Pauling structure going up out here. A little energy investment, I would say, right? After I got that built, okay, you've seen how they detonate buildings where they take a few girders out and then everything collapses, right? It doesn't take as much energy to break that building down as it takes to build that building. Right? If I take a carbohydrate that is full of sugar molecules and I use those sugar molecules in oxidation reactions in my cell, I'm breaking them down. Those reactions are actually generating energy for me. Breaking biological substances down by oxidation generates energy. Making those substances requires energy. If I'm going to make a glycogen, which is a polymer of glucose in my liver so that I have storage of, of glucose for my body, I have to put energy into doing that. Where did that energy come from? The food that I ate. I broke somebody else's glycogen down. That's why I have to eat. If I had to rely on my own energy to break down and then rebuild, couldn't do it. I don't get as much energy out of something as I put into it. I've got to have an external source of energy, and that external ener source of energy is food. The gasoline in the cell, you'll hear me say this many times during the term, is ATP. Isn't that getting close? God dang, I wish he'd shut up. Two more minutes, you know? The energy of the cell, the gasoline of the cell, is ATP. Cells direct their energies towards making ATP to a lesser extent GTP and to a lesser extent CTP. We'll talk about all those this term. And they get it from breaking down bigger things into smaller things. Glycogen gets broken down into glucose. Glucose gets broken down into pyruvate. Pyruvate gets broken down into acetyl-CoA. No, you don't have to write this down. Okay. Acetyl-CoA gets broken down into carbon dioxide. Every step, we're breaking something bigger down into something smaller every step. Well, almost every step there involves oxidation. 
Oxidation, of course, you know. You light a match, you're oxidizing something. Okay? Match releases energy because of that oxidation. The energy coming off of that flame is a product of the oxidation that's going on. What's remarkable is our body is doing the same thing, but not at the temperature of that flame. If it were at the temperature of that flame, we're dead. You laugh, but it's true. <laughs> okay? We can imagine a world okay, where we might have living systems that were at the temperature of that flame. In fact, on the face of the earth, there actually are organisms that live at the temperature of that flame. Hard to believe. But if you go to the bottom of the ocean in a deep, in a deep thermal vent, you can find temperatures that are above boiling temperatures of water in which living organisms are thriving. It does happen. That takes some very special structures, some very special biochemistry, some very special enzymes. And we'll talk a little bit about those as we get going along. OK, that's enough of me blathering on and on. Let's stop there. Uh, if you have questions or you'd like to come talk to me in my office, please feel free to come by. My office is in ALS 2145, and I think it's somewhere on one of the pages. See you guys then. Hi, Johnny. How you doing? Good. Uh, I was wondering if you were talking about the lecture slides. Were you recommending to, to use the lecture slides um, for class notes, or did you have different slides that you print off? Uh, so the slides are the same, but it's easier if you go to the Blackboard site because they'll all be in one okay. PowerPoint. You can just print them off real easily with that. Okay. You can do this off of here, but then you've got a, each page of paper. I mean, it's just, it's just a waste of paper. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Hi. Hi. How's it going? How you doing? Baja. Good. Stephanie. Yeah, Baja. Baja, yeah. That's nice. Um, so with all the material... Let's go up here. I can get my camera put away. Okay. If you guys want to follow me up. With all the material you're providing us, would you recommend that we get the book? that's required, or uh, is, is that to supplement? I, I, I can't tell you. It's a supplemental thing. So some people do fine, some people don't. So mm -hmm. I don't want to say, yeah, you can. You go, I made an F in your class, you know. Right, so, right. Yeah. So if I can find a good deal, then grab it. Yeah, okay. it's, up, it's up to you. Okay. I, I, I can't tell you. Okay. Yeah. Cheers. Yes. How you doing, Caleb? Oh, Jacob, Jacob, yeah. Okay. Uh, thank you so much for letting me sit in your class. Certainly. It was. I look forward to taking it. Good. Well, uh, good, nice to meet you, and good luck to you and your choices. And good to see you. I hope you guys had a good visit. Oh, we did very much. Good. And um, if you have a second. Uh, sure. Let me answer some questions here, and I can answer some more questions for you guys. Yes. Robert, Robert how you doing? I, you, it was just trying, I just remembered, I think you uh, said that you can, um, you, you have the figures all on the PowerPoint, so you can yes. put it off that way rather than clicking on them. Yeah, that's easy, because they're all in one, one thing. Thank you. Okay. Hi. Hi, I'm Ann. Hi, Ann. Um, I'm the one that emailed you. Oh, exam anxiety or something, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I can't talk to you right now, but can you come by my office maybe tomorrow sometime we can talk? Yeah, I can. Okay. All right, Thank good. You. Take care. Hi. Hi, I'm Sue. Hi, Sue. Pleased to meet you. Um, I just want to let you know on Wednesday, there's a chance I might be leaving early. I'll still be okay. at the beginning, but sure. I have seven and nine-year-old Oh, girls, you know about it. Yeah, so yeah. I, I, I sure. organized it for Monday, Tuesday, sure. Friday. But okay, you bet. Come on up while I disconnect my camera. So. I hope that wasn't too <laughs> too annoying. <laughs> well, so one of the one of the reasons I, I, I go through this is these are students who are not majoring in biochemistry.